Hello folks, welcome to another entry of Destinasi GP and I speak to you not from a circuit for once because after 10 races done and dusted, the World Championship is now enjoying a much needed and well deserved 5 week long mid-season break through the summer. Now, just before this break began, we took the opportunity to ask all our riders what they had planned for the summer break and we start with our Moto3 and Moto2 riders, here's what they are up to for the summer break. So the July break is something that's uh, rare for us. We don't normally have a break this size. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to, to tick off a couple of things from the list. The first one being uh, seeing friends, family, girlfriends, uh, because being away and on the road so much with the COVID restrictions, it's been difficult to see them as much as we'd like to. Um, I feel like it's important for me to have uh, kind of five days to a week off right at the start of the break, just to, to rest, recover. Um, and then I'll start our training regime so it's difficult throughout the year to maintain your fitness we obviously put a good base in in January and February then as the season goes on uh, you, you can maintain it but it does dip a little bit throughout the year so that three week period in the middle of July will be uh, the prime time to, to build that fitness back up and get a better base level for the second half of the season. Normally in a summer break I would head back to South Africa go and see my family and my friends but unfortunately with the COVID and the travel restrictions, it's not looking too promising right now it's for me to go home. So uh, yeah, I'll probably be up in Andorra where I'm based at the moment and uh, I'll probably spend my, my holiday there and maybe head down to Spain for a week or two and try and enjoy a little bit of sun and uh, a little bit of the sea. Cause uh, yeah, I love the sea. <laughs> so we have a five week break coming up. Summer holiday um, is a time of relaxation probably going to take a week out uh, at the beginning of the, the first five weeks to, to, to really just take some time away from training, try and uh, just relax and then come back, do training and uh, start to ride some mini bikes, motocross bikes and uh, just try to enjoy a little bit because in this time it's obviously a stressful season so in the five week break, the time that we have at home, we obviously want to spend at home and I want to see my family, friends and uh, yeah, maybe uh, go and support my friends because some of my friends race as well. So yeah, it's, it's a time of relaxation, but also it will be good to, to do all these other things. I plan to, to go one week to, to the beach, to the holidays, and then all the rest continue training la, like now. I, I like to do a lot of sports, so I will try to, to, to make that, to try to do bicycle, motorbikes, uh, try to go to make surf, wakeboard, all, all I can, of course, with, with men, but it's nice, uh, seems long time ago we don't have that big break, so I will try to, to enjoy as much as I can. All right, some exciting plans there from Jake, John, Xavi and Darren. Let's hope these guys properly enjoy these five weeks before we start racing again in August. Now moving on to our MotoGP riders and here's what living legend Valentino Rossi had envisioned for his summer break this year. Uh, I think that the July is the best month for, uh, for have, uh, a summer break because uh, you don't have uh, the, a lot of people around like, like in August and the weather is fantastic. Uh, I don't have a, 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 a clear plan, uh, but uh, for sure uh, I want to stay at the sea, uh, maybe my place, maybe we go in some, some places not so far with the boat and uh, stay with my friend and relax. All right, looks like Valentino is set for a good one as well, but let's also hope he finds time in between all of that to visit his teammate, Franco Morbidelli. Now, as many of you would know, Frankie suffered a training accident and had to miss the Dutch Grand Prix and undergo surgery. All of us wish him a speedy recovery from that and we hope to see him back in action very, very, very soon. Nevertheless, just before that, we managed to get him to play one of our latest series of quick fire question games and this time around, we decided to test all of our riders' knowledge of the team. Here's how Frankie fared. Six. 4.7. Five. Five point five. 
In World Championship, 26. How many? 50, 55, 57. All right, that was a decent attempt by Frankie indeed. Now, will the other five riders be able to outscore him? Well, you only have to stay tuned and find out in our upcoming entries throughout the summer break. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Destinacy GP. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, I will see you folks in our next entry. Ah!